like she said, I'm Joel Green, you know, the host of Curiosity Quest, the show that explores what you're curious about. And um, wonder what we're doing today? You see, I got a letter from... Michael from North Carolina! And Michael from North Carolina was curious about what it's like to be a black belt in karate, and he wanted to know all about the art of karate. And he was curious if we could show them. Well, Michael, because of you, we are indeed at the world famous House of Champions in Van Nuys, California, where we're going to learn all about karate! All right, so we're gonna learn all about karate, and our teacher is Sensei Mark. Now, Sensei Mark, first of all, what is karate? Fighting. Karate is a ancient style form that was based off of uh, uh, massage techniques from India that provide self-defense for kids. Karate basically is the art of the empty hand. Really? Yeah. Simply we, put. Simply put. <laughs> Simply put. All right, now when you say the art of the empty hand, when I think of karate, I think of movies and fighting and, you know, that stuff. There's, there's many forms of karate, mm -hmm. many styles of karate. Our particular style of karate is a, a mixed martial art. We incorporate traditional karate. We incorporate boxing, Muay Thai, Jiu-Jitsu, and the Filipino martial art of Eskrima. That's the art of the stick and the knife and the empty hand. Now, uh, before we came out here to do this show, we, we've had a couple letters in the past on karate, and I was really leery because we don't want to do shows that where parents or kids are thinking, oh, we're encouraging fighting or whatnot. But I understand that's that's not what you do here at all. You're not yeah. teaching people how to fight, but I'll let you fill in the blank there. Yeah, I mean, basically, we're teaching them how not to fight. You know, for us, anytime we have to uh, say fight, mm -hmm. Both people are losers in the situation. Ultimately, mm -hmm. in a matter of self-defense, mm -hmm. um, I'll do what I need to do to make sure that I'm safe. The kids and the adults and the people that come here mostly love the camaraderie. The kids do so well. I mean, anybody that trains in martial arts is automatically better at anything else that they do. So if it's school or a sport or anything else, they excel more than they would have if they hadn't had any kind of martial art training. Now, that's a bold statement, but I've, I've heard this before. I've heard it from professional athletes saying that I wasn't a great athlete until I got into karate or mixed martial arts. I, I've heard that a lot. So that's a bold statement by saying that you're gonna be better at whatever else you do when you have this as a base. True, true. I mean, a lot of blood, sweat, and tears go into earning a black belt. Mm -hmm. For me, my black belt took 10 years. Wow. I started when I was 17 years old. <laughs> so it's never too late to start martial arts. So obviously there's still hope for me to become a black belt. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> We're gonna work on it a little bit today. You know, one of the things though, I see that the outfit that you have on is uh, a little inappropriate for the dojo. What is a dojo? A dojo is a type of DJ that thinks he's pretty cool. It's like a stuffed animal. And dojo, for us, means gym. Okay. Okay? We wear a uniform. It's known as a gi. Oh. And I would like for you, if you don't mind, a to gi. put on this. You want me to put yeah. on a gi? Well, wait a minute. Well, now, why, why is mine white and yours is black? Well, because you're a beginner, right? Uh-huh. And I'm a master. Okay. So, but is there any chance that I can advance through our learning today and possibly wear the black? You might earn a black stripe. Ooh. Black, wait, what's a black stripe? Though? A black stripe on the uh, a tip on your belt. We give these to the kids when they start to show oh, okay. understanding and proficiency. Well, I want to do what you're doing, so I need to get my gi on. Yep. Virtue number one is patience. All right, all right. So how do I look? Great, great. Yeah. All right, so I need my belt now, huh? Yep. This is a belt. All right, so let me ask you a question, Sensei Mark. Why, why am I calling you Sensei? Uh, sensei is the Japanese term for teacher or instructor. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's amazing because when, again, I think about karate and, and even our letter, everyone's interested in the belts. 
You know, our letter was, I want to know what it's like to be a black belt. Right. And everything you hear, that, oh, I'm going to be a, when I was in school, it was like, oh, I can't wait to be a black belt or whatnot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like your trophy? That, like, it's like your... Not, not, not really. You know, so many people are focused on the belt. <laughs> we tell students, don't focus on the belt. The journey is is achieving the black belt, but everything that I learn along the way, I keep. I can go get a black belt for you right now and put it on you. You could have a black belt, but are you really a black belt? Do you have the mind and the heart and the soul of a black belt? You know, that to me is what represents a black belt, uh -huh. more than the belt itself. Sure, You know, sure. don't get caught up in the belt, you know? Okay, so I'm not gonna focus on the belt. You got that, but what was some dojo etiquette? Good question, I'm glad you asked me that. Right. One of the most important things, obviously, in the dojo, if not the most important thing, is respect. So when I enter the dojo, I always bow to show respect when I come into the dojo. So as I enter, all of the students that train here, including the staff and the parents, will bow as we come into the dojo. And then I go on my way and I get ready for the class. And at the time the class is ready to go on, we ask all of the students to line up here. The highest ranking student will stand, me facing this way would be to my right. Mm -hmm. So the highest ranking student would stand here and the other belt levels would continue down the mat. You would end up way down there. <coughs> yeah, I'll go down to my end right there. You're so just now look, with me. stand like now. me with your feet shoulder width. Hands closed. This is known as our ready position. You're telling your instructor that you're ready for class. Sensei will say to bow onto the mat. So we bring our feet together, hands to our side. We bow, and now we go onto the mat. Bowing into the dojo and bowing onto the dojo floor. Also bowing to your sensei when you see him. Virtue number two is focus. Awesome. Why do you? Why do you, what do you call it? yell when you, when you, hey, what, what are we doing again? The ki helps for me to generate my chi power. Okay. That's my inner strength. Okay. So with the breath, breath and the muscle control, I hit harder than I normally do when I don't make this sound. You gain more energy with the ki. You hear that gi snap? Yeah. That means you're powerful. There we you can go. add even more snap. Watch this. Let me see. Let Watch me see. This. That's an edit. You can do it too. Go ahead. All right, so you've taught me some basics. Right, so I'm working on that. Now, there are some classes coming in. We're yes. not going to have the dojo to ourselves all night. That's right. That's right. You guys are going to see uh, a nice array of classes today. You'll notice that we'll start with three and four year olds, then we'll go to like five and seven or nine to 12, and then ultimately adults, all doing karate. Do I need to, I need to like warm up a little bit, maybe in the bag room, or lift some weights, or on the bike? Yeah, and, oh yeah, for uh, sure. Should do that stuff? Any, yeah. Anytime yeah. you get here early before class, mm -hmm. we want to see you practicing. Oh. Go hitting the bag, working on techniques. Hey guys, as you notice, we have a new student here today with us, and I'd like to introduce to you guys, Joel. Let's take him for a run, Noah, go. Okay, side to side. Keep going, running backwards. Come on, let's go. <laughs> running forward. It was okay, just a three-year-old right class. Push up position. Yeah. Yeah. So, ready, down. One! That's better. Down! Two! On your feet! Everybody on your stomach. Oh! Okay. One line across the middle of the mat, standing ready. Quick! Horse stance, move! Two knuckle punches. Ready? Go! One, two, three, four! Good. Roundhouse kick. Ready? One! One! Good roundhouse kick. Ready? Two. 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 Nice and high. Ready? Three. Yeah. Three. Good, Thomas. Okay, circle up, quick. Ready? One, two, three. House yeah. of 
champions! All right, so I'm here with Nicole, Leana, and Thomas. All right, so how old are you, Thomas? Four. And Leana, how old are you? Three. Three years old. Wow. So, Thomas, you were taking me down out there, weren't you? Yes. Yeah, so when we do the wrestling, why were you pulling me forward? That's why I have, the, have to do grappling. <laughs> you were grappling me? Pulling me forward? Yes. <laughs> so my son right now is about two. My daughter's about six. And I'm thinking, wow, I don't know. That's tough work out there. Hey, you're okay with it, huh? I am. You know, it's it's actually taught him a lot. You know, he, I, he didn't go to preschool at three. And um, I didn't really have a lot of friends that had kids his age. So it was a really great place for him to learn socializing skills and, you know, just discipline from somebody other than a parent. All right, so I just want to introduce everybody to Mia, who helped me do the intro earlier, and you did a great job. Thank you. So, Mia, I've been listening to a lot of other people around here, and you've got one of the most intense Kia? Kia. 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 So, I need you to teach me how to do your Kia. All right, so how do you, where does it come from? This, your stomach. It's kind of like yelling, but you yell it, like in your stomach. And how old are you? Seven. And, and do your parents let you do kias at home? No. I know why. Let me show you. Ready? Go ahead. Give us a good kia. Ah! And again, her parents do not allow her to do that at home. Alejandra, first of all, tell us how old are you? I'm 10 years old. And how long have you been studying karate? Uh, about four years. So I was watching you out there and do your routine, and why do you yell so loud? It's called conditioning, and usually, like, I practice that way, so when I go to tournaments, I'm, like, even louder, so the judges can, like, count more points for the, your voice and style. So the louder you ki the the more points you get? Yes. So what is your favorite part about karate? Well, my favorite part is that you get to learn techniques and it's always fun to learn more. 